and if you scroll down email templates we're going to create a new template and I just want to show you here that th there is an editor here with a lot of different features uh, that we can use to make HTML emails which is great for marketing form letters you know nice you know fixed stuff that you can send to people on um, your clients whether you're doing sales marketing or just follow-up letters or even bill collecting reminding letters whatever it is that you're sending with these uh, t templates you can do that and you can make them look nice and pretty but sometimes using this built-in editor can be a bit of a trick and getting pictures to show up sometimes uh, can be uh, very <laughs> difficult so one of the things we do is we use an alternate editor for the HTML and I'm going to show you how to do that we personally are using uh, SeaMonkey because it's a free browser that happens to come with a few different tools that are useful. This browser that I'm looking at right here is SeaMonkey version 2.0 and their website actually we went to the SeaMonkey website. It's www.seamonkey-project.org so we're gonna just for demonstration purposes show you this where we're getting this free tool because it's important for what we're going to show you next there it is www.cmonkey-project.org on the right hand side of my screen in that green block it sense that I'm using Microsoft Windows for this demo so it shows the download link for the Windows version of CMonkey version 2.0.1 now the reason we're using SeaMonkey is because it has this tool in the Windows men menu pull down called Composer. Composer is an, uh, it's a basic HTML editor, and I'm going to show you why it's fancy, why it's helpful to us. This editor has a button for image, and if you click that, it has a nice little form that allows us to put it in the location on the internet where our picture is coming from or is going to come from when we're making our email template. It also has alternate text that we can show when the picture has not been downloaded yet. A lot of times in people's email clients they might have the security set to not download um, pictures and media content you know automatically so that you know you might only see the alternate text when you open up that email so that alternate text is a, is a good tool for marketing messages and things. But for our demonstration I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this composer to pull to design yourself an email template and then bring that information over into the VTiger template email template editor um, so you can get images to look the way you want so let's go back to that SeaMonkey home page or the project page see that picture on the top on the left SeaMonkey I'm gonna right click on that and hit properties I'm gonna get a, a URL address of where that picture exists on the internet I'm gonna highlight that entire thing I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit copy. So now I just copied the address of that image on the internet. I'm going to go back over to the composer tool. I'm going to click that image button that's on the top. And I'm going to right click and paste the location of that image. And you'll see here there's an image preview of that SeaMonkey logo. Alternate text, I'm going to put SeaMonkey logo. I'm going to say OK. There. I'm going to put please download as our text and and there there we have the beginning of an email template with an image that's in there looking nice and everything but we have to get this template over into the browser or I'm sorry into the editor for the VTiger so what we what do we do on the bottom of the screen we have an HTML source button when we click that we're going to see all the ugly code that makes this rendering happen the way that you see it so I'm going to click that and we see all this ugly code. Now this is HTML code and you may or may not be familiar with what's called HTML tags but what we want is only the gobbledygook between body start tag which is here which is always going to be a less than sign the word body B-O-D-Y and a greater than sign and what's the, called the closing tag for the body has a forward slash in it and that's less than sign forward slash the word body b-o-d-y and a greater than sign well we don't need to necessarily understand all the html between those two tags the opening and closing body tags but we definitely want to get that information and nothing else we don't want to grab part of the tag of body we want to grab everything immediately after the opening tag for body 
and stop uh, before we get to the closing tag of body. Now, this is the actual stuff, the code that makes that template look the way it does on that other view that we were looking at where you can see the picture. So I'm going to copy this inner HTML, this HTML that's in between the body tags. I'm going to go back over to VTiger and in the editor there's a button called source. It might be in a different location on your screen because it wraps depending on how much real estate you have on your screen, how much space. I'm going to click source I'm going to right click and paste in that HTML code that I grabbed from in between the body tags. I'm going to say OK and there we have our image and we have some text and let's let let let's really put some icing on the cake. We'll do it. We'll do this template. We'll make create this template for a lead. I'm going to say dear. I'm going to grab one of the fields from the leads entity. I'm going to grab first name. And I'm going to take that code. I'm going to write uh you can I hit control C to copy it onto my clipboard. I'm going to uh hold down control V as in Victor to paste it. So I'm going to say dear first name from the leads database uh, dear leads first name how are you from Jason that's it and I'm gonna give it a name because I designed this for leads I'm gonna use the prefix leads and I'm gonna call this leads test and hit save whoops I forgot subject leads test there we go okay there's our template now I'm going to use it let's go over to the webmail client that's built in the vtiger let's compose an email let's grab our leads template we just made there we have it now I'm gonna email this to a lead not a contact I made this template for leads it's getting information from the leads entity so this template is only useful for sending to leads so let me go grab a lead I have a lead here with the Jagus email address Elizabeth Brown 